handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Oaklawn Park here on Saturday. It is the 20th of April, 2024. Going to look at the stakes races on the program from Oaklawn, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the stakes action from Oaklawn here on Oaklawn Handicap Day. Races 9, 10, and 11, all conveniently packed in an all stakes pick three. The ninth race from Oaklawn, it is the Bathhouse Row Stakes. It's going for a purse of $200,000 race for three-year-olds here. We have a field here of eight horses entered, going the distance of ground of 1,800 meters, or a mile and eighth here on the Oaklawn main track. Uh, the winner of this race gets an automatic berth into the um, Preakness Stakes in about uh, four weeks' time or so, something like that. My top selection here in the bathhouse, I'm going to go with the four-horse and foreign patriot, 4 5 three, eight for me in the Superfecta. 4 5 three, eight, Super, top selection of four-horse and foreign patriot. This uh, three-year-old colt by uh, Hartspun here, Steve Asmussen, trains Ricardo Santana Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 30th March at Oakland, a mile and the eighth in the grade one Arkansas Derby. He finished fifth by nine half lengths that day. He was one, and he just wasn't catching Muth and Just Steel, who really ran terrific races. This horse refreshing here, you know, he's getting some serious class relief from some of his previous races. Should see a strong, strong pace up front to close with. I think he can get the job done. He's only won once, but he's always run these sneaky good races. Two back in the Sunland Derby at Sunland, a mile 16th on the 18th of February. He finished fifth by 13 and a half lengths, Dante, and he just was wide, and he just kind of hit the wall late. Maybe that was a tiring track there. And then prior to that, the Smarty Jones over the mile on this track, or the mile 16th on New Year's Day on this track, he finished third by two and three quarter lengths. I thought he won a little bit more late, but he got around the race course well. And then 25th of November, Churchill and Optional 100 over the one turn mile. He finished third by one and three quarter lengths, Dante. He stalked, again, ran an okay race. His one victor uh, on the 22nd of September, Churchill going 7 8. So wasn't bad at all. Beat a good group of horses home. But, uh, you know, he He's training well since the last race. I like the quick turnaround. He could definitely win. I think the five horse here, Milton, for Brad Cox and Florent Giroux could win. Ran um, first outing on, on a claiming, main claim 125,000 uh, here at Oakland over the mile on the 7th of March, where he finished third by five lengths. He was stupidly wide, but he was closing up well late. Came back to run on the main special weight on Arkansas Derby Day over the mile 16th, winning by a length, closing up from nowhere. I thought it was a very good race. He isn't Triple Crown nominated, but uh, coming here to this race... Logical step off of a decent main victor. It's not the world's deepest race. He could get the job done. Also, I would use him in this pick three. But to recap my selection for the ninth from Oakland, now it's Bathhouse Row. Going to take the four horse and four and Patriot. Give kudos to the five horse militant. Four, five, three, eight, super four, five in the multi race. The tenth race now from Oakland. It is the Valley of the Vapors Stakes. It's going for a purse $200,000. Race for three year old fillies. We have a field of 11 horses going the distance of ground to 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track starting and ending at the 16th pole. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number 5 horse, Marisol Sugar. I'm going to go 5 one 11, 7 in the Superfacta. 5 one 11, 7 Super. Top selection of 5 horse, Marisol Sugar. This 3-year-old filled by Constitution here. John Ortiz trains. Keith Asmussen gets the mount. And the horse's most recent outing came the 29th of March here at uh, Oakland. A mile 16th and optional 125 clamor. And the horse finished third by one three quarter lengths. He sat on the front end that day saying some pretty good fractions up there. Kind of yielded late. Um, the winner who was running back this one today um, you know, really ran a terrific race. Um, you know, this horse, he just couldn't catch um, me on beach who, like I said, is running back this one. But she ran her heart out. I think getting some less distance is what this horse really wants and I think she can get the job done. Two back on the 3rd of March going mile 16th and ops 125 clamor. He finished second by 8.5 lengths that day. Was stupidly wide and couldn't catch the winner who just had the jump on this horse late and then 11th of February at Oakland on the slop one mile to main special weight. She won by 3 lengths and on the front end all throughout showing some good fractions she won quite nicely. Has definitely improved with every single race if you go by the speed figures. I think it's been crying out for less distance. She's going to get it today. She gets good post draw. It wouldn't surprise me if she wins. I think the uh, one horse here in Yon Beach uh, for Christian to or for Joel Rosario and Steve Aspen. Wouldn't surprise me if this horse shows up in the winner's circle. Most recently, an option 125 locally over the mile 16th. She placed um, behind Marisol Sugar, or she finished in front of Marisol Sugar, went by three quarters line from a dream tracking trip. She really ran quite nicely with a dis what's a class relief that day. Prior to that, Honeybee on the uh, on the 14th, on 24th of February over the mile 16th, she finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day, and she just never really got going that day. Um, and then the Martha Washington over the slop on the mile 16th in early February, she finished third by three lengths, and again, she just needs something more. 
anymore. I've only won twice. Once here on uh, once in November at Churchill, an off a turf race, and then once last time out. But he's always run these good races, training well. I'll give this horse shot a ticket at 5 2. But to recap my selection for the 10th from Oakland, now it's the Valley of the Vapors. Going to take the 5 horse here, Marisol Sugar. Give kudos to the 1 horse, Neon Beach. 5 1, 11 7 Super. 5 1 in the multi race. Let's get to the 11th race now from Oakland, which is the feature race of the program. It is the Oakland Handicap. It's a grade 2 event going for $1.25 million purse race for four year olds and upwards. We have a field here of 11 horses going 1800 meters or a mile and eighth here in the Oakland Handicap. I'm going to take the number one horse, Highland Falls, as top selection. 1 5 6 10 in the Superfecta. 1 5 6 10 Super. Top selection of one horse, Highland Falls. Three, a four year old by Curlin here. Brad Cox trains. Flora Giroux gets the mount. The horse's most recent ad came the Santa Anita Handicap at Santa Anita. Mount a quarter, third of March. Finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths that day. And he was just wide and he just couldn't get there that day. Um, you know, he just wasn't his day to win. I've notice the Brad Cox horses that shipped to California don't really run. They get over bet and they just don't run. I, I am guilty of betting them, <clears throat> but they, they just are we, is flat. Come back to the East Coast here today. You know, not the well. It is a tough race, but um, you know, it could be fairly paced on this track. It, it, she is he is stepping up in class, but he's definitely run races fast enough to win here. I'll give this horse a shot on the ticket. Two back in the um, in an optional fifty at the fairgrounds, mile sixteen, thirteen, the January. She finished. She won. He won by what three quarters in length that day. Excuse me, I'm all over the place today. But it was stupidly wide, but kept going late. Quickened up nicely. He got the job done with the 96 buyer. And then probably the best race his horse ran came on the 17th of November at Church. On mile 16th, the last race, 124,000. Went by two legs. A little bit wide, but really took off clear. Very, very good run. And then even before that first time allowance and, and winner's horses at Churchill in September, had a decent third where he closed up well. You know, it looks like a bit of a late bloomer here, but he's been getting better with every single race. Training well since coming back from the West Coast. I'll give this horse shot on the ticket. I think the five horse red route won for Joel Rosario and uh and Steve Aff soon could get the job done also. Most recently, the New Orleans Classic over the Mile Lake Fairgrounds about a month ago. The horse in by two lengths, coming home with career best 101 buyer, really closed up from nowhere to get the job done. A very good, strong one with a strong pace in front. Prior to the mine shafts, where they, um, again, were flying up front, he finished fourth by four lengths. I thought he won a, He had a bit of a troubled trip that day, but really closed up well late, and then had a decent second in the Louisiana Stakes at Fairgrounds, first time uh, older horses. You know, last year, you know, was running on the Derby Trail, won the Bath House row stakes here last year. I came back to run an okay fourth in the uh, Preakness and okay uh, well, a very not okay eighth in the uh, Belmont, but then came back to win the West Virginia Derby quite nicely. Refreshing here, you know, is really improved with the three-year-old to the four-year-old campaign. He could win. Let's use him in this pick three to end it off. But to recap my selections for the 11th from Oakland now, it's the Oakland Handicap. Going to take the one horse Highland Falls. Give kudos to the five horse Red Route 1. one five six ten super one five in the multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everyone.